Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelite Roulette. We're back again playing some more Dungreed. In the previous episode we made it quite far. We got a nice bit of progress. I don't think we have any um, anything to spend so let's go have a little look-see and make sure we haven't got any skill points to spend. I don't think we do the uh, remaining points one. We actually do. Uh, so let's have a little look-see. So what, what are we going to put into here? Do you want more max health? Do you want more critical chance and evasion? Um... Well, we're going to go for this one, I think, just because max health is going to be really helpful to start with. And I'm trying to build into that one. A lot and a lot of people have mentioned to me that we want to be going for this here. Um, take one item back with us. Honestly, I think I'm going to purposely avoid that. Because even though it's really useful, I want to try and beat the game without using the um, Blood of Sauron, or whatever it's called. It's Basically, it's a... Um, legendary quality item that you get healing whenever you crit and it's like the most powerful item in the game by a long shot um, I want to try and beat the game without actually keeping it every run I, if I pick it up and find it of course I'll take it but I don't want it to be every single run having it because then we end up playing very similar runs every single time and I do want to try and avoid that so let's have a look here we got 8 to 10 7 to 9 uh, kind of slow it gives us a bit of defense as well though it does have that as well um, we've got a Charm of Power. Let's actually go with both of these. So let's get both of them. Get two accessories straight off the bat, which is really, really nice. We'll go to this guy and see what he has for us. In fact, he has a weapon for us already. So, oh no, this is the shop still. Wait, what? Hey, sir. And he's giving us a Ring of Speed as well. So we are we are killing it with our uh, inventory management. If only I could remember the button to open our inventory. Wow, I cannot remember it at all. <laughs> What is it? I can't remember. It's been so long since I played this. Like, honestly, it's been ages since I last played this game. I've um, basically been trying to uh, play the game. There it goes, V. We've basically been trying to play the games, uh, play the, the episodes just before they go out. So I get as much feedback as possible from you guys. But yeah, that's a pretty good start, that. Extra power, extra evasion and defense. And a little bit of extra movement speed. Movement speed isn't exactly the most important statistic for us. But it's still very nice to have. So we'll head back down into the dungeon and see what we can get done here. Um, people did say to me I have been very very much misusing my dash i haven't really been using it anywhere near enough so i'm gonna hopefully try and use my dash a little bit more here um and people were saying that i can do what i just did there and dash to go down but things like that are the situations in which i really need to be paying attention and using it a little more situations like that look like i'm just not using it anywhere near enough and it's it's basically not only wasting my time because it's taking me too long to to kill things but it's it's making me get hit a lot more than i should be because i'm not as maneuverable as the game is intending me to be and I'm, I'm taking one of the biggest parts of our movement skill and completely wasting it and that is a great chest to find straight away we're getting demon boots right off the bat here which seem to lay some lava on the ground which is really nice leave a trail of fire simple as that leave a trail of fire so we've actually filled up all of our accessory slots already which is actually quite nice like, of course we can replace them as we as we find new ones and things like that, but having this trail of fire is probably going to be quite useful. Like, as I'm seeing already, it's setting things on fire. There's our first hit there, unfortunately, but we shouldn't have too much of a problem dealing with the rest of these guys. There you go. Um, we don't have any food bank or anything to go to yet. I heard apparently the food area is always only a certain room, certain amount of rooms away from the um, the starting room. So you can actually kind of judge where it's going to be based on that. We actually got some extra HP there as well, so we're back up to full. We'll try and make sure we're getting as many as we can. Good, good, good. Unfortunately, wait a minute. No, it doesn't matter. I thought we had another weapon, but we didn't buy it, did we? My bad. And also, people were getting annoyed at me for leaving gold. I do apologize. That will happen every now and again, but I'll try to avoid it when possible. And we got the Flax, which is going to be extra damage. Um, it's a one-handed, so it's a lot of extra damage. Slower uh, swing, but I'll, I'll definitely try using that. And it's also got a special ability, which is increase the movement speed for 10 seconds. So I'm actually just going to use that every now and again. Not really for anything particular, just to get the extra movement speed. Right, I'm going to stay out of the way you... God, that fire's really good. That fire is really nice. I can't get that coin, thank you. I'm surprised the coins don't, like, disappear after a certain amount of time. I'm glad that they don't, definitely. 
But as you can see as well, another thing, we've actually got extra um, saturation now. We can eat a little bit more food every single run, which is, well, every single floor, should I say, which is really, really nice. It's why we need to be finding the food shop as soon as possible, um, which I need to get better at doing. And I'm, I'm sure I will as time goes on here. So if we go up and try and go back to our entrance and go up this way, we should maybe find it up here. Isn't this where we already went? It is. My mistake. Maybe it's over this way then. Here it is, look. Here it is. Okay, so I need to be more vigilant about trying to find our food shop. Food shop. Right, what we got, what we got here? Um, oh, Minotaur steak is brilliant. We'll definitely take that. So let's uh, buy that up right now. Uh, when we Basically, when we die, we get revived, which is really nice. And then we can go for some defense... Uh, actually, can we, can we get this one? I think we can just about get this one. Power, max HP, defense. Power, max HP, crit chance. Let's go for that one, shall we? We need the defense as well. Ooh, we need a little bit more. So, um, yeah, we're a little bit high right now. So, let's let's go and do a few more rooms than we should be able to. We should actually be able to now. Now that we've done one extra room. This extra damage we've got off the sword is very, very nice. But yeah, even just that, there you go. We can now we can now get in there. It just depends on whether we can afford it or not. I didn't even check how much it cost. But I think we can. Yeah, we can more than afford it. Um, it is this one here, isn't it? There you go. And that's a nice amount of stuff to get there going into this uh, boss fight. Getting to eat two food per floor is going to be really useful for us now. Definitely. Okay, so... Oh, my God. What the hell? The succubus apparently grabs you? I did not know that. So that's something we've got to watch out for. You can actually see already that defense helped us a lot because we didn't take anywhere near as much damage from her as we would have done otherwise. We get a little bit of healing there as well. The fact that we're still on full HP here is great for us. This is going to be um, one of those games, by the way, where... I mean, all of the ones in the um, in the roguelike ruler are going to be mainly, but uh, it's going to be one of those things where we end up talking a lot more about the game than we do anything else because I'm, I'm learning it. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of learning the game as we go, and so it makes more sense to talk about the game as we go. Setting things on fire like that is going to be great. I did not mean to get hit by her there, but it's what happened. We've got a few of these boys about. I don't know if there's fall damage in this game. I'm not sure. Look at that fire. Beautiful. And we did get a chest. Oh, no, we got healing. Nice. We've got like, one of them little healing sprite things. Right. Let's have a look where we can go now. Go down here. Yeah, I'm just using my movement speed whenever it becomes available. And there you go. We've got our boss already. Uh, do we have any other places to go to? Because we haven't found our uh, shop yet. Have we? we haven't found Croc. Cronk. Croc. Let me not call him. Yeah, that was beautiful. And there we go. I'm actually utilizing the dash a lot more now, and it's definitely helping out. Thank you for all of those of you that suggested I do that more. It's something that, even though it seems obvious, I definitely would forget and, and maybe miss sometimes. So, I don't think we have anything to sell to you, actually, do we? No. Do we have anything we want to buy? Poison enemy is attacking you. Poison resist. Gold drop. Nah, I don't want any of that. Uh, rapier is... Actually, pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy the I'll buy the the rapier. I'll put that there, and we'll sell that. And that's going to be a little bit more damage, I think, because it just attacks so much faster. And that range is beautiful as well. I wasn't expecting it to have such a good range, but the fact that it does is definitely good for us. So let's go and do our boss now. Um, boss shouldn't be too hard for us right now. We've got good health and all that sort of stuff, um, and we just should get some healing there, so we've got even better health. So yeah, I think we're going to be fine for the boss here. We've just got to be careful of that attack. People have said that one that spins around that I was having trouble with. You've just got to make sure to jump over the, um... You've just got to make sure to jump over the platforms as he does it. Like that, look. Oh my god. I'm having to focus pretty hard here to make sure I don't get hit too much. Oh, damn it. I didn't jump on the, the platform there. There you go. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is going really well so far. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Immediately say that and get hit loads. But it's alright. We've got to remember we're always going to be getting 80 healing. So we're always going to heal up to full pretty much as long as we don't take 80 damage, which I, I very highly doubt we will end up doing. And there you go. That was a really, really well performed fight there. If I do say so myself, that's definitely the best performance I've done on this boss so far. Very, very few damage taken.
Very, very nice. We'll see what we get from our boss chest. And there's our healing as well. Got to make sure not to forget that. So in our boss chest, we get the magnif uh, magical magnifying glass, which I believe is something related to guns, if I remember from Dangerly Funny's videos. Bullets uh, become bigger and increase... Um, 30 okay. So, so that's not bad, but we don't have any guns yet. So that's not going to be useful for us yet. So we will see about, um, about using that later on if we find any guns. Got to remember, these floors, much more difficult. Much more difficult. The difficulty really does step up, but luckily, we can take advantage. Oh my god, I did not know that that fireball would go through the floor. <laughs> but yes, um, this dagger can hit enemies through the- oh my god, he hit me. Can hit enemies through the floor, which is very valuable for us. So what we're going to do is try and find the food shop as early as possible. This is crazy. It's able to hit enemies from such a distance away, and that guy managed to fireball me. Hey, you. Wow, he charged through so much fire to get to me there. That really helped out. I wasn't expecting the fire to be as good as it is, but it's really helping. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, I missed some money there. Don't want to forget that. There you go. Look at that fire damage. That's insane. Okay, I did get hit there. Not going to lie, that wasn't great. Okay, getting hit a lot here. Oh my god. This guy's in a really bad spot for me here. Wow. I took so much damage there. That was unexpected. That guy did a lot of damage to me. Right, so food shop straight away. Very, very nice. Let's have a look what we can get here. Unfortunately, nothing crazy. We will just go with this one here. Um, get the extra healing and all that jazz. And we should be able to come back for one more food. Let's just actually check what we want when we come back. Probably go for the top one there for the extra defense. Getting that little bit of healing is nice, although we are going to be looking out for destroying boxes and getting healing that way. People mentioned to me that that's something I really need to look out for. Oh, she got me again. No. That succubus is evil. That succubus is evil. Monocle. Ow. Oh my god, I'm taking big damage here. Um, extra crit chance, extra crit damage. Not exactly what we need right now. I'm rather, I'm rather happy with what we've got going on, so I don't want to mess that up, really. What the heck? Oh my god, something exploded on me. Oh my god, I'm going to die here. I'm so going to die here. No! Minotaur stick. Save me. I don't know how much health it brings us back on. That was a pretty bad death, honestly. Thank you, cow. Half HP. That's not bad. Okay, another chance at glory. Ow. This bat is going to be a real pain in the ass for us. Luckily, we got him. I didn't even realize there was another bat in the corner there. But yeah, so far... Not so good. <laughs> Getting a death this early on is definitely not great, especially considering how good this run looked. But this game is brutal. It can turn around on you so quickly. So we'll sell both of these, actually, because we're not going to use them. I know there's a blunderbuss in the shop there, but I'm not really going to use either of those. Um, and I don't think I want any of those either, so I do apologize. Croc, I won't be buying anything from your store this fine day. Right, let's try and get this guy gone. Before he does any more, there you go. And then you can you can chill out and do your little your little music thing, and we'll we'll just keep our distance. Then there you go. When the time is right, we'll strike. And there you go, big boy chest. Ooh, a Christmas tree. Um, let's have a little look, see what the Christmas tree does. Sword of Vines. Attack multiple times with one swing. Poisons. That sounds amazing. Let's uh let's try that out instead of instead of this actually. Let's put that back up there. So poisons and got, got a ri really big swing speed, uh, swing size, and apparently it hits multiple times with one hit. So I don't exactly know what that means. Oh yes, that's that, that's that's very very good. There's two of these ice guys. So we need to deal with them right away. I don't know where the other one is. Uh, I thought there was two of them. Maybe not. All right, get ourselves that. This is a great sword. I'm loving this thing. Wow. Too bad it didn't poison him then. Oh, no, it did. It did. Wow, this thing's amazing. The poison. 
Oh god, a bull just spawned on me. That was not- Oh my god, it got me again. <laughs> I am taking some big damage from, from some enemies I really shouldn't be taking any damage at all from. Which is rather sad. And we're not getting any healing either. I swear the first floor, I got so much healing. It's like, you need healing now? Ugh. How about none? Thanks, game. Right. Oh, we got a choice here. So, I think this is a two-handed. It is a two-handed, so we probably don't want anything that's going to be two-handed. Let's let's take this. The heavy meteor fragment, see what that does. Um, It's a weapon. Ugh. Um, it's ranged. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with it being ranged. That's fine by me, and that was a very good room for us there. I see your spikes. I'm getting a bit more vigilant with those spikes now. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to notice them. When before, I would just walk on them and take tons of damage. These enemies are the worst. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm not really using my dash anywhere near as much as I should be, so that's definitely not good. We got ourselves iron armor, which we probably want to put on. Let's have a little look-see. Um... Oh. oh, actually, that's defense 15 as well. Let's go. Let's go get rid of the movement speed and take that instead. Ow, I hit the spikes on the roof there. We keep seeing this mirror of the mummy. It's very popular today. Okay, we're just going to chill up here because we can. There we go. Oh, there's one of the boys. I don't know where he is, but he needs to go. There we go. We got him. We got him. You cheeky boy. There'll be none of that. I know there's a few coins about, but it's fine to leave just a few. We are very low on health here, and we might actually be able to buy something from the food shop now, which we probably should do as soon as possible. Um, let's go with power and defense, I guess. Yeah, let's go with power and defense. Healed us up a nice little bit as well. Not exactly enough to kill the boss, but a nice little bit. We'll say that. That explody guy is the worst. Can I hit this guy? Oh, yes. Look at this. Nice. Wait until he does his little attack. Got him. And you. The poison's not exactly the best. The fire is so much more damaging. Oh, God. I didn't need to go this way. Bad times are happening for me. Sorry, gold. You're on top of spikes. I can't do anything about that. Wow. How did I not get hit there? That was impressive. Wow, indeed. Wow, indeed. Right. We're on to our boss. This is very scary because I do not think we're prepared. Um, I already forget her patterns and we're not, we've not got much health at all. I was really hoping for a little smidgen of healing there. This weapon is definitely more sorted for this boss, but I still think this is going to be really bad. Oh my god, why did I do that? Oh my god, we're dealing damage to the actual boss. What's going on here? This is actually going pretty well. I mean, we do not have enough health to kill her, I don't think. We, what the hell? We're destroying the things, like, instantly. This is great. Okay, that's that's not good. <laughs> I did not know she did that. I did not know about that attack. But that's another good run. We, we, we had a good time there, and we indeed even leveled up once and a half. So that's very good. We can exit the dungeon, go take our perk point over to this woman and train up a little bit. Still going for this. I want to get to the max one of that. An extra accessory slot sounds awesome. Um, and then I think if we do if we do quick start, nope, not talk, not talk. Go away. If we do quick start, we get nothing from him. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Excuse me, sir. There you go. I don't know why he wouldn't give that to me before. Okay, this isn't exactly the best thing ever, but. That was a bit, a bit unfair, wasn't it, mate? So, let's see what we want to buy. We've got steel dual swords. Um, they're pretty nice, actually. Uh, we've got steel boots. We've got silver earrings. Let's go with these and these. And we might as well get that as well. There you go. I'm good to go. Right. Let's just have a little look. So, this is... 
not exactly great. We'll probably use the steel dual swords. I like that a lot. The extra attack speed is going to be very, very nice. And we'll keep going down and see what we can get done this time around. We're heading in for number two. Maybe one day we'll get past that second floor and beat the ice boss. But it's going to be a while. We need, we need some good stuff. That was very, very nice. So with this with this little this little ditty, we want to be just firing constantly. Because otherwise, if, if, if we don't fire, it slows down our fire rate. So we want to be keeping that going. And of course, while we're early on, we want to pick up all the money we can get our hands on. So again, we're at our saturation at zero. So we're we'll looking for our food shop as early as we can. Oh my god, these two as a combination is not a good pairing at all. I just took the full brunt of that attack and I'm not very happy about it at all. Not very happy about it at all. Right, so I'm going to go back down the way I came and try... Ooh, a little bit of extra pennies there. Try and go to every adjacent room to our starting because that's going to be the most likely scenario for us finding our starting... Uh, our shop, sorry, our food shop. That's going to be probably a really good thing and there you go. That is how it works. We, we got this one. Uh, so, oh boy. Oh boy. This is some good stuff. So we got the shrimp tempura, which is very good. We're going to have to buy that. Then we'll come back for the uh, raspberry cookie later on, I think. So let's go with that to start. And once we once we get enough money, which is 920, we should be able to get that. We're going to come back. So with, with that food, I don't know if it say I don't know where it says our food, actually. There. That was so much stats. We got like true damage, we got defense, we got toughness, we got max HP, we got loads of stuff. Um So here we have quite a few different things. Um I think I'm gonna go with this because the other things are weapons that we don't really need. And the bomb pouch is gonna give us defense and leave a bomb when dashing, which we might get some use out of. It's not exactly gonna be the most damaging thing in our run. I, I don't actually know how much damage it'll do, to be honest. I'm, I'm just guessing. Oh. oh, the damage is good. And there's some healing as well. And we're getting there in money. We're getting there. We're not quite there yet, but we should be soon. 4.59. Right, let her do her first attack. And then go for it. I want to be dashing as much as possible to try and get the bombs damage going. There you go. She's going to be doing a singing thing from above, so we got to watch out for that. <laughs> there we go. Getting her before she got off another shot there was brilliant. Ooh, okay. That bomb insta-killed that last guy. I don't know if it's because it critical hit or if it always critically hits, but it did 30 damage and insta-killed him, which is definitely good damage. Definitely good damage indeed. So many of these today. There we go. Getting an extra dash in there was beautiful. Get me some extra pennies. Oh, there's a big bull boy. I did not see him at the start with. So the, the, the first bomb was a crit, yes. But that is enough to get us our food by quite a decent margin so we can go back over to our food shop here and hello missy missy how are you today give me the raspberry cookie thank you thank you very nice extra 23 percent attack speed this is this is a run this is a run we've got something going on already although i did say that last run and i still died so what do i know but so far so good is what i'm saying Okay, so I'll let this guy fireball. Quit. And I can probably get in and kill him before he fireballs again. Yep. Oh, the speed at which this man is shooting off shots is insane. I evaded that, which is nice. There's a little block in the way. that the, the, they, they, they look like you can go through them and you can't. And they keep throwing me off. Does she aim? I can't tell if she aims. It seems like she aims. Like, I feel like she is actually going for me. It's not just like a general attack. Got them all. These guys are just easy as pie. 
They don't even pose a threat. They hardly even hit us. Oh, the attack speed is mental. It's great, and I'm loving it. Still no chests this floor. Oh, a, a, a plague doctor. I almost said a black man then. He's not a black man. He's a plague doctor. Um, brilliant treatment. Receive. Recover one HP every second. That sounds good. I mean, it only lasts 80 seconds, but I like the idea of that. I like the idea of that. Wow, why is there a teleporter's about? Let me walk all the way back. All the way back. Wow. Um, we go this way. Let's see what's what. Oh my god, the speed. I feel like the king of speed right now. So much damage. Got him. And our health is still pretty good. And we've still got 40 seconds of healing. So we're going to get up to full health pretty easily here. And where else we got to go, actually? We've been everywhere. Was this Croc's shop here? Did I not look in Croc's shop? Did I skip it or something? Definitely skipped it. Um, wow, 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 wow. That sounds brilliant. Um, up to 30 damage. Uh, let's get the cloth armor. And the stone sword? Yeah, let's 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 try out the stone sword, shall we? Oh, not enough gold. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We, we, we can actually... Oh, no, we can't come back after the boss fight, can we? That's fine. We've got good enough weapons right now. I'm pretty happy with our build that we've got going on. So let's just get into the boss and try our best. We're not going to have as, as much range as we had last time, which is definitely a problem. Um, it's going to make it a little harder. But I don't think we're going to die, at least. Just keep our attack speed up and keep hitting him. Depends on what attacks he does, really. The random chance of what attacks he does is going to affect quite a lot how we perform here. But we should be okay. We got hit once there. I'm pretty good at not getting hit by those now. Oh my god, I jumped. I, I accidentally double dashed then. But there you go. He's dead. We only took a small bit of damage there. Pretty quick fight. The first boss is not something to be afraid of at all for now. I mean, I know there's a hard mode. I'm sure he's a little bit tougher in that, but we'll see. So you always get a ton of gold off of that. And for this, we got the exact same thing we already have. Thanks, game. <laughs> oh, really? Really? You have to do that to me. But anyways, onto the next floor. Feeling pretty good. Again, we're going to try and manipulate to find the food shop as fast as possible. And we're going to want to be doing that. I did leave some money in there by accident. It was even by accident as well. It wasn't It wasn't just me being dumb. Okay, so this this little wizard woman, the magic singer, Siren, is going to end up hurting us. But we got out of it without taking too much damage. Oh, oh my god. The bulls are really bad. Oh my god. Yeah, so I've shit the bed and got hit way too many times, but we got a golden chest. That could make up for this, depending on what we get here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, yes, demon boots again. I wonder if the demon boots can roll any other stats. Yes, they can. Extra attack speed. Um, so we've got extra defense, extra defense. Oh, my God. We're going to have to leave the bomb bag. Sorry, defense. I'm going with the lava walkers. Okay, so we are going to go... <gasps> You've got to be kidding me. You dropped me straight into a spike. That's an, against the Geneva Convention. Now that's, that was... That was horrible. If I do say so myself. Okay, we got an extra 10 HP from somewhere there. Uh, them spikes will hurt us, so let's not even bother going through those. And I'm just going to check every adjacent room. Oh my god. Oh! I evaded that. I actually evaded that. That was something really special there. That, that would have dealt a lot of damage and I got on evade. That was insane, actually. So that ice bat's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, there's multiple of them. So that's good. What the hell? Oh. I do not like the ice bats. I have decided. I do not like the ice bats. They are dangerous, and I do not like them. Good, good, good. Oh my god, that scared me. 
These guys are the worst. Away with you heathens. Right, we need to get head back again. We've not found the food shop yet. Oh, are you kidding me? I forgot they were there. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. I'm bad. Right, whereabouts have we been? Let's have a little check here. So that's the starting room. We've been there, there. So it's going to be either here or here, I think. So let's go through this way first, because this is a non-combat room anyways. Can we do some sacrificing yet? Nah. Hey, I was right. Food shop. After swapping weapons, increase power by 50. Eh, it's not great. Defense and evasion, however, is very nice. Let's go with that. Um, and we can probably get another one, can't we? Uh, power, max health. Yeah, let's go power defense. There you go. Lovely jubbly. Very nice to see. And we'll head down, down, down. Oh, that was a bad... I'm really glad I ducked away there, because that was a bad idea for a second. I don't care about getting hit by you, because there's a healing thing there. There we go. You don't have any power over me. Hey, how you doing, Croc? We've got leather armor here for more defense. Um, oh, it's no spike-type damage. I bet you guys have been shouting at me so much about not picking up gold on spikes about that. God damn. Um, I'm going to play the game the way I need to right now and take off my demon boots in order to get more defense because defense is keeping us alive. Demon boots are nice damage, but I cannot rely on them. We do have the uh, the stone sword again thingy. The, the big old boy. Oh, shit. I forgot he did that. Excuse me. Give me my money. I'm going to leave that one. That's one penny I ain't getting. Although all of these, all of these are getting got. Excuse me. Thank you. It's going to be the one that locks us in. There we go. Oh. But I literally walked right into that. That's so annoying. Oh, taking a bit of damage here. Taking a bit of damage. Good, good, good. We got it. And down here. Wow. Too much damage for me. For my liking. Oh, doing that to her is, is, is brilliant. I can't really hit these guys properly because of how they work. And because of how short range my swords are. Can't really hit those the way I want to. Go away, ice bats. There's so many ice bats. Wow. I mean, there's normal bats as well, so that's fine. Ice bats be gone. Big boy bat. Oh, no. I just have to run in and try out. We're somehow at less health on this run. I mean, I suppose we didn't die this time, though. We didn't, we didn't have to use a stick. So I suppose that's better. <laughs> We're not doing as bad as we did last time. But we have found our boss and we aren't prepared again. <laughs> and we've got a room up here somewhere. I don't know what this will be, but I might as well go figure it out. Might be one last thing I can get to help me out. Or it could kill me. There's always the chance it could also kill me. Which is probably the more likely one. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I went in here. There's a lot of HP in here. These are like trap rooms, aren't they? Like you, you, you box yourself in and then you try and it tries and traps you. But honestly, I am super happy we came in here. That is that that is a lot more health than I was expecting to have right now. And we have this thing, which I remember being very, very good. So I'm gonna take it. Uh, let's have a little look. See. Extra damage, get a dash, we get ninja throwing stars. Um, attacks a little bit faster, doesn't stack as high, but we'll, we'll try it out and we'll swap that for, for that there. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty good. Right, down we go. I, I still think it's bullshit that you can fall straight into that spike. And we can do that as well, look. 
So we might be able to keep our distance a little bit here, and having this extra range is going to be very important for us. Uh, I don't think we can get any more food. I don't, I don't think it's actually possible. Which is unfortunate. Getting three food per floor would be great. In we go. One more heal. Yes, one more heal. Healing for the win. I mean, literally healing for the win. In, in every scenario, healing is for the win. Okay, so this is an attack we can avoid. We can just chill. We're doing it again. So just... Oh, we can do... Ooh. Some of these can be destroyed by hitting them. Can you not do this attack every single time? Uh, oh, okay. And with, there's this one again. So let's just take our time to learn, shall we? Education week. Okay, she, she, she likes the same attacks over and over again. We're learning that. Also, the music is dope for this fight. Okay, so we've got two of them. This is nowhere near as strong in terms of actual damage output as our last one, which is sad. But we can get a bit of damage going. Okay, good, good, good. Uh. Okay, got that one. I evaded that one, apparently. We're doing okay. We're not doing the best, but we're doing okay. Thank God I got out of the way of that somehow. What the heck? Oh, I did not like that. What's she doing? Stab it. I don't know how I'm avoiding all of these falling shards of glass, but I am. I said shards of glass. They're literally ice. I mean, what else would they be? Okay, once she gets that dagger coming in, it gets a little more complicated. Because we, can, we can't dodge as easily. As I said, can't dodge as easily. We got her! Yes! Okay, so being, being a bit slower is, is definitely key to success here. Just taking our sweet, sweet time. And we got ourselves the gold star keyboard, and we unlocked ourselves... Three little items here. They all sound pretty cool. Nice one. Let's have a little look-see at um, the keyboard that we got. Wow. That sounds really good. Um, the attacks per second are okay. The damage is good. It's got extra defense. And look at its power. It gives us so much power. So let's try this out. And we'll head through. And yeah, honestly surprised. I didn't think we were going to do that, but we're on to this floor, which is definitely a lot harder. Ooh, the music's really nice in here. I'm not used to hearing the music. Oh, we got to save a new person. Rosen, hello, adventurer. I can sense the energy of Perinu per per in you. My prayers cannot reach him from here. Can you take me to town? Okay, nice. We can now use the altars and things, I think. I'm assuming that's what that means. Oh, oh, I don't know what these do. I don't know what these do. Oh, okay. The falling keys do extra damage, I think. Let me just test that theory. Maybe not. It seems... I don't know. They kind of do. I don't know what's going on, though. I can't hit him for some reason. He seems to be armored or something. Oh, that's a shaman. The shaman was, like, protecting him. I'm enjoying this weapon so far. Oh, these, these, these ones run at me. How did I not take damage there? What is going on? <gasps> hey, little lady. How you doing? This is not a good shop. We will take this, though. That's not bad. Not terrible, at least. We'll keep on our way. So now we should be able to offer to an altar. Oh, maybe we have to speak to her in town first. I assume that, that she's part of that, though, at least. Okay, so this guy's definitely armored. We can tell that by the noise it's making. <gasps> oh, no. I got stunned. You are in a bad place. Please get down. There you go. So this guy is very much like the Minotaur thing that charges us, but we can we can hurt him a little less because he's got kind of a defense to him. But we did, we did all right there. These guys, I'm not really sure about. It seems that they're pretty much just regular enemies, but a, bit, a little bit beefed up in terms of HP. I am liking this keyboard. It's very much a mash it into their face sort of weapon. And it's, it's working wonders for us. Working wonders for us. 
Oh, there's a blobby. There was a there was a flower that I killed. I killed a flower. Oh, the blobby does damage. I mean, that's kind of obvious, but it did damage when I wasn't expecting it to. I love the music and the, the vibe of this floor. So much design coming into this. It's beautiful. I'm really liking it. Okay, we got these little weird things. We got an ice guy. Excuse me. Oh my god. Um I I am I am not a fan of this situation at all. Why is there an ice guy on this floor? Oh god, I ran out of dashes. That was that was historically terrible. Uh, we also got a bat that might be able to help us out. Let's have a little look. See, um, I don't really want to lose any of this. Let's try out that instead of the boot, shall we? See how the green bat does for us. So the little vile plume things seem to um, seem to like fire explosives at us if we step on them. Okay, if we get anywhere near them, and it poisons us for three seconds or something. Ooh, that was a hefty bit of damage. You've got to be really careful for them, then. They, they they kind of require range damage. We want to be keeping a ranged weapon as our secondary, really, on this floor, if we can help it. Oh, that's the boss. We don't want to go in there yet. We don't want to go in there yet. Head up this way. Nothing in here. Sure, there's gonna be some strings. Yep, there you go. Hey, Minotaur, buddy. How you doing? Luckily, you were easy. And then we've got some of these guys. Hey, Succubus. God damn it. You're the worst, Succubus. You are the worst. Hey, it's our boy. Our buddy, our pal. Let's sell him some of our various items that we do not need. I will sell those. I'm sorry, but they're going. I'm not going to use them again. Down this way. Got a few different ways to go here. Mm, I'm a little, I'm a little concerned with this floor, though. I really don't know how to avoid these guys. I mean, I have been avoiding them, but I'm really unsure as to how. Oh, hello. That's an enemy. Okay. I was like, is that an enemy? Is it just random detailing? It was definitely an enemy. Another rapier. Not really interested about that. White items this far in are pretty much garbage. There's something that explodes that's chasing me. Okay, you can get away from that, but unfortunately we didn't. And there you go. Unfortunately we defeated, and it was by poison as well. We died to poison damage. But we're going to level up once, maybe even twice here. Almost three times. Wow, very nice. We can exit and take a little look at what we've, uh, what we've unlocked here. I was waiting for you, adventurer. My prayers cannot reach Pernu uh, because the temple has been destroyed. If the altar is recovered, I believe my prayers can help you greatly, adventurer. I hope you can help. I can help. I can help. Hey, my blacksmith dude. Yulford. Of course. I'll help out this little young thing. Nice. You can sacrifice a weapon to uh, receive a new weapon. There are many altars in the dungeon. By providing proof of adventurers to these altars, he will bestow great rewards even for small prayers. Lots of new items unlocked. That's always something we like to see. And we can go and check that out now, actually. Um, your strong heart will reach him for sure. So let's talk bless. Not enough offerings. You can sacrifice your experience to, to get Aegis. I heard that people... Who have received the blessing can ex exceed their limits. However, as human beings exceed the limits can be risky when done more than five times. I don't know what that means. Some of you in the comments will surely know, so do let me know if that's anything important. I think that's something to do with like getting extra stats, maybe. Um, but you have got to sacrifice your levels. I don't actually know though. And we'll put our other two points into this one. We still got a while before we get to uh, our twenty on there. Which we shall, we shall see. We shall see. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Dungreed. I'm really enjoying playing this game. And I'm really enjoying the roguelike roulette series. And I hope you guys are as well. And I will see you guys in the next one.